These terrorist actions must be prosecuted and punished to the fullest extent. Political violence must never, ever be allowed in America, and I will do everything in my power to stop it. President Trump praising law enforcement tonight, promising to bring swift justice to the man accused of waging a week-long reign of terror against prominent Democrats. Good evening. I'm Tom Haynes. Thanks so much for joining us for this special web edition of Fox 5 News at 10. We begin with the arrest of a Florida man accused of mailing explosive devices to Democratic politicians and prominent supporters across the country. Caesar Sayak was taken into custody at an auto parts store in Plantation, Florida, where investigators discovered several suspicious packages in a U.S. postal facility. The 56-year-old is charged with five federal crimes. At least 13 suspicious packages have been recovered since Monday. Fox's Lauren Blanchard has the latest. While the suspect in this case is behind bars charged with five federal crimes, the FBI director warning Americans the arrest doesn't mean we're out of the woods. There could be more dangerous packages still in the postal system. They did contain energetic material. The hunt for a suspect ending in Florida. 56-year-old Caesar Sayok surrounded and arrested in Plantation, Florida. Authorities seizing his white van covered in political stickers. The FBI was able to nab Sayok, who has a long criminal record, using a single fingerprint found on an envelope. Like finding a needle in a haystack. It's still unclear if Sayok acted alone or had help. Director Ray calling the IEDs inside the envelopes dangerous, potentially explosive, and not hoax devices. If convicted, Sayok faces up to 48 years in prison. Now, the question is why? It appears to be a partisan, but that would be uh, determined by the facts as the case goes forward. The IEDs sent to Democrats and critics of the president. Democrats are pointing the finger at President Trump for a heated political climate. What I hope my friends on the other side, as well as Democrats, understand, that words matter. We have seen an effort by the media in recent hours to use the sinister actions of one individual to score political points against me and the Republican Party. A federal source tells Fox after an initial court appearance in Miami on Monday, Sayok is expected to be transferred to New York City and prosecuted there because nearly half of the packages were routed through the greater New York area. In Washington, Lauren Blanchard, Fox News.